Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial where we're going to be looking at one of our product mockups. What I want to do here is give you a quick overview of this After Effects file uh, that you've just downloaded to make sure that you know how it's all set up and how you should use it. So in this tutorial, I want to focus on three things. First, I want to show you how to customize your mockup so that it matches your actual product. Then I want to show you how to replace this placeholder label with a different one. And finally, I want to show you how this customization process looks on a tube and a, on a box mockup as they are set up a little bit differently. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So on the left here in your assets, you will see a comp at the very top called uh, product designer. It should be open here by default, but if it isn't, then simply double click on it uh, to open it up. Now, this is the main comp that we're going to be using to customize our mockup. Over here, it has an interactive preview of our mockup design, and this is our label. So to start, let's select the controls layer over here, and in its effects tab, you will find a bunch of controllers to adjust the look of your mockup design. And so let me quickly take you through these settings and show you what each one of them does. Here at the very top, we can adjust our lid. We have a couple of different materials that we can pick from, we have glossy plastic, matte, aluminum, and chrome. And I can switch between them like this. And as you can see, our lid design over here updates almost instantly. Now, say that blue color looks a bit odd on a chrome lid, right? So we can change its color to say uh, a light gray. Much better. Then the next thing we have here is enable grip which does nothing on a chrome material. But if we switch it to plastic, we can see that it adds this uh, grip here on the edge or, or the surface of the lid. And so for the time being, I'll make this guy a little darker, uh, maybe something like this. And then next, we can move to our bottle design. So with the bottle, we have a similar setup where once again, we have the option to choose from a couple of different materials. So I can change it to a matte, and you can see how its reflections become much softer and much more diffused. Or we can change it to tinted glass, and that changes our bottle to appear as if it's uh, made out of glass. And then um, if I switch back to plastic bottle, we can adjust its color over here. I can change it to dark red, and as you can see, it updates right away. But uh, if you are using a tinted glass bottle, then uh, color adjustments uh, are done over here. Now, the only thing to note about the tinted glass bottles is that you can adjust their color, but not the, not the brightness or the saturation. This is uh, simply a limitation of uh, After Effects. Then this guy will allow us to adjust how shiny our bottles appear and how visible are all of the reflections on it. This can be quite helpful to dial in the look, um, especially when working with uh, darker color bottles uh, where highlights are a lot more pronounced. Next, uh, we have this drop down over here where we can pick a couple of different types of pills that appear inside the bottle. So we can choose none, which turns them off altogether. We can have tablets, which uh, let me just see here. Yeah, here we go. So that's our tablets, and we can also have uh, fish oil capsules. So that gives you a couple of different options depending on what type of uh, product you want to show inside the bottle. Then here we have a couple of settings for our label. Um, with this guy, you can specify how soft you want the highlights to be. And then here we can adjust the opacity of this highlight so that if it looks a little too harsh, we can simply bring it back down. Um, and then last one here is our ground reflection, which uh, controls the reflection we see over here. And so we can reduce its blurriness. We can increase its size so that more of the bottle appears in the reflection. And we can also make it uh, very visible or drop this to say 10% so that uh, it's just barely there. All right, and so that's more or less how you customize the product. Um, this is the controls layer here, and then it's all these guys over here. So next, let's take a look at this label and how do we replace it with our own. 
For that, I will need to import a new label into my assets. I open up my labels folder here, select it, then uh, file, import, file, and I'm gonna pick another label. Okay, so that's my current label, and here's my newly imported label. Now to add it to my bottle, I double click over here, and that acts as a shortcut that brings me into the label comp. Then to replace it, I have to have my current label selected. I want to select my new label that I just imported. Then hold down the Alt or the Option key if you're on the Mac. And while holding it, I drag my new label over the old one. I release the mouse and then release the Option key. And that swaps out the two assets. Now, if I go back to my designer comp, I can see that the new label has been applied onto my bottle. And so if say, I wanna make this guy smaller, I do it like this. And as you'll see, it updates on our bottle as well. And so that's how you customize your bottle and how you update its label with your own design. Now this process can look a little bit different depending on the mockup that you're working with. So let me show you how this looks, uh, say on a tube product. So here's our tube. And what's different about the tube is that it has two labels instead of one. It has a front label and a back one. So if I go into my back label and I turn it off, you will see that, uh, oh, okay. And let's just pick a different color for our tube, say, maybe something like this. And as you can see now, the front label is on the tube, but the back one isn't. So this way you can use only one label if you want to. And while we're at this, let me show you a quick trick here as I'm not sure if it's um, obvious enough. Um, but essentially the label that you create doesn't have to cover the whole surface area over here. Um, especially if you only have a couple of titles and the rest of the label is just a solid color. In that case, you can simply add a PNG file uh, into its texture, um, say like this. And as you can see, we're using choose base color to create the, that solid color uh, on our label. Um, I think the lighting might even look more accurate this way. And then finally, let's take a look at the box. And if we select the controls layer here, you can see that the box has uh, much simpler controls um, as there's just not that many things to adjust with it. You can use these sliders to adjust the shape of the box. And as you can see, it updates over here. And then over here, uh, you can see that we have its uh, label broken up into five panels and um, one for each side. And then if I go into one of the panels, I think it's pretty much exactly the same. Oh yeah. And the only thing that you need to make sure here is that you add your label underneath these two guys. And uh, that's about it. Okay, and so that's more or less how you use these mockups. I hope this gave you a good uh, introduction and just make sure to check out the rest of our video tutorials as they cover many other aspects as well as various tips and tricks uh, for using these mockups.